Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Back with some more Psalm 96. Got some more juicy, joyful goodness out of this Psalm. And let's jump into it. Gonna look at verses 2 and 3 this time around. How long will I stay in Psalm 96? No idea. As long as I'm getting some for you guys, I'm gonna stay right there. So Psalm 96, verses 2 and 3. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. Guys, for those of us who are Christians, I, I don't know of a single Christian who can say they came to Christianity, became a Christian, and then remained a Christian, and would say, yeah, God really hasn't done anything for me. Just, you know, he's, he's there. He forgave my sins. I believe it. So, yeah, it's good. Never heard a single Christian say that anyone who comes to Christ they come to Christ because he did something deep in their hearts and deep in their lives. They know not only are their sins forgiven, and yeah, he exists, he's up there somewhere, but he is always doing something in our lives. He's always moving, he's always pushing us forward, he's always developing us, furthering us as human beings, showing us how wonderful he is and the wonderful things. I'm looking at white walls right now. I'm like, all these, look at all these beautiful white walls that are around me right now. That's kind of weird. I was thinking when I was doing that, things like, like looking at the things that he's done like, you know, in my life, in my friends' lives, in other lives. Look at what he's done in the earth. Look at what he's done, you know, amongst the peoples. Look at what he's done, you know, in my life, amongst my people, in my nation, in the little part of earth that's mine. I'm thinking of all these grand big things, not just the white walls of my room. I was not just referring to, look at the coat of paint, it's so great. I was thinking about just the wonders that God's done in my life. And what I like to do and what I try to do and what Christians that are close to God find it hard not to do is to proclaim the good things that he's done, declaring his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ, I want to encourage you, you've got a story. You've got a story of wonderful things that God has done in you. Sometimes, you know, if, it's, if you've been with him long enough, probably he's done some things through you. Some things were like, yeah, I did that, and I know God was moving through me when that happened. You know, that wasn't so much me, that was God. And these are stories that need to be shared. A lot, a lot of the times, the gospel is called the good news. And what a wonderful thing it is to tell people who haven't heard of Jesus. And I would add to that also telling people who are absolutely Christians and totally know Jesus to tell them the good news of the gospel of Jesus. To tell them about Jesus died on the cross and rose again. I know it. I believe it. I still love to hear it. I still love to be reminded of it. I still love to think about the fact that my Savior isn't just dead in some tomb, but He is alive and well and praying for me to the Father in heaven. I love to know the fact that my Jesus loves me so much and valued me so much that He died for me. I like to be told that. So definitely tell the non-Christians. Definitely, They do need to hear this news. Some of them for the first time. And you may be the only Jesus that they ever see or here. We have no idea, you know, where life is going to take us. We have no idea how long we have. You might be the only Jesus someone sees. And trying to, I, I, again, I want to keep the happy and joyful theme here, and what God has done is very good. Quick reminder, though, all of us, you know, have a, have a time limit over our heads. We can't see it. Only God can. So make sure that you are loudly and proudly proclaiming the good news, the glory and the wonders of your God to as many people as you can because he's done great things, hasn't he? In your life, in the life you're living and have, have lived and are living right now, hasn't God done some wonderful things? Hasn't he done some stuff that is worth talking about? Sometimes to Christians, sometimes non-Christians, I'd say most of the time to both. He's done some stuff worth talking about. So do everyone around you a favor and talk about the goodness of God. Talk about his glory and his wonders. People want to hear it. And I'll tell you this, some of the people that don't know him and say they don't like him, they probably need to hear it most of all. And even though they won't say it, some of them, not, I won't say all, but some of them, they, they are so vocal against Christianity, some of them want to hear it. They want to hear the good news of God. They want to hear 
you know, that your God's moving, that he's doing good things, that you still believe in him. Sometimes that cold exterior, it hides a fragile heart and a broken mind. It wants to hear the goodness of God. It desires that. It craves that. It says it doesn't, but it does. Not all things are what they seem. Not all. Try to keep that in mind as well. Sometimes the people that you, you're just like, man, they, they will never come to Jesus. Sometimes they're the ones that are just, they are longing to hear the goodness of God. They want someone to break through that cold exterior and give them his glory and his wonders. If you, if, if you feel so led and are so inclined, be that person. Because once again, God has done good things in your life, hasn't he? You've seen his glory and you've seen his wonders. You've seen the goodness of your God. Share it. Share that good news because you've got something important to say and there are people that need what you have to give. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.